I believe you got to make the workplace fun, okay? And so we try to put a lot of fun in facilities and try to make it a meaningful place for people to stay where they want to stay. But you also got to make it economically attractive for them, of course. So we've got a very competitive salary to start off with. And then as they acquire more time in the facility or more skill levels, their salary increases. So every five years they're on our site, they get an extra 50 cents an hour pay increase. It doesn't sound like much, 50 cents an hour, but if you've been there 20, 20 years, you got an extra two bucks an hour, okay? Every license they get, and we have A, B, and C licenses, you can get upwards of a, a dollar extra an hour per license up to a maximum of three licenses. So we incentivize the people to stay, we incentivize the people to continue their education, continue their skill level, and we try to make it a fun place where they don't want to leave. But you know, we, we recognize uh, individuals, we reward individuals, and we have fun events. Like we have something called the Engineering Olympics where we uh, actually put a building through the paces and we break up into teams and we do challenges on responding to different issues in the building. Uh, we have lunches and uh, barbecues periodically. Uh, when we won this award, we, we had a big barbecue on the loading dock, for instance. Uh, we responded very quickly to a sprinkler uh, failure, sprinkler head failure up at one of our clinics. Uh, you know, we bought a pizza lunch. We, we celebrate lunches, you know. We do a lot of things like that, Christmas parties and things like that. So we believe you spend a lot of your life at work, you may as well make it fun. I 100% agree with that. Um, and I think fostering a sense of community, some of the yeah. examples that you gave, really letting your employees feel like they're a part of something and a part of something bigger than themselves. So in Bob's industry, it's helping cancer research, and that's yeah. huge. And in facilities at the U of A, it's helping people um, into their future, you know, working at the institution of the University of Arizona is really exciting and if you can get people to plug into that and value the importance that they're bringing to your organization, that helps them stay. Within, um, within FM and within our apprenticeship program, I think the other benefits that they have is that it's, it's different. It's, if you're a plumber outside, you're either p commercial or residential. With our 130 buildings on campus and our outlying 130 properties that we have, you get both plum, you get both commercial and residential. So you've got a vast, ex, a, just a ton of different experiences that you can have, which are, which are also exciting. Um, we also have a lot of job stability at the university. So whereas outside in the construction industry, sometimes that goes up and down, or you have to leave town to keep your 40 hours a week. And at the U of A, it's it's a solid 40 hours. And then we have fun projects that we get to work on. I know our apprentices right now are getting ready for our Tucson Festival of Books. So we've got one of the top 10 largest book fairs in the nation and they get to be a part of that. And they get to meet authors and just the fun work that they get to do and the diverse work that they get to do helps retain people.